Hi everyone, welcome back to Lifestyles and Design by Ginger. It is day four of Christmas 10 Inspirations and Jeff right now is kind of going through what we're going to be talking about today for inspiration. Um, I happened to get um, a private message from a Miss Ruth and she asked me what we would do um, for more of a lodgy woodsy um, inspiration for Christmas. And I'm like, well, I can do that because I have all the stuff. Um, and I'm going to tell you a little story about this tree. So we decided to get a real Christmas tree this year. And we're like, so how are we going to decorate it? And Jeff and I happened to be catching um, a channel that said retro Christmases. Hey, Jeff? Yeah. And <laughs> we saw the tinsel trees and we're like, oh, childhood, let's do a tinsel tree. So we went and got tinsel. The painstakingly hours that it spent putting on the tinsel, it gets to the point because you have a little bit of sippy, a little bit of music or Christmas movie on, we ended up just chucking and we're like, we're trying to make it look pretty. Jeff, what was the tree like? Let's not go there. <laughs> I said it looked like a orangutan. It was not okay. It was a Christmas orangutan. So off came all the tinsel. And then I was like, okay, now what? Because we're we're in Renault's and um, we're, you know, the whole house isn't done yet. So, um, and as Renault's goes, you know, you start one thing and then what? There's mold where? Or what's, what's, what? New electrical? Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Um, so then I said, okay, bows and gold and silver, we'll figure it out. Did it, and I was like, mm 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 mm, fa la 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 la, no. So then, when I got this private message, I was like, perfect, because we are kind of a modern, lodgy, wo woodsy, hey, Jeff? Yes. We've kind of got it all. And I was like, perfect. So, okay. So then today, um, I had to work. I had, I just got home from teaching. And so I had um, about an hour and a half to get this all together for the vlog tonight. And what happens? This whole tree fell over, water everywhere. The dogs came lapping up the water. My daughter and I had to clean it up. And I'm like, okay, now I have an hour before I got to go. Anyways, I pulled it together. Um, I love it. We even dehydrated oranges, so when I got home from teaching tonight, um, we hung the oranges, Jeff, Jeff and I, and I thought to myself while doing this, what do I want to see? What, what, what is it for this focal point, for this room? And I'm very much about a scene. I'm very much about the picture, and I'm not sure if that's because of being a choreographer. I'm always looking for the scene. The, the story, is the story being told? And I think so it is. And I hope, Miss Ruth, I hope you love this because we certainly do. Um, it's not completely done because I ran out of time before I had to go to work. So we have our lantern that I made last year, um, which um, I just totally love and it fits so perfectly in into this. And then we have two artificial trees, the lantern, a lantern here that I made, the feather tree, and a little mini tree, and a partridge in a pear tree. So I was like, okay, I want it woodsy. I want it Santa-y because we have Santa. I want it with some greenery, some branches, which I, I have to go out to do more foraging tomorrow because I've actually got the day off. And I wanted some oranges, and I think I still want like a, a popcorn um, um, garland, mm. which we, you know, never been successful with, but I'm like, this is the year, Jeff, we're going to do it. Um, and just to add little bits in, um, but the oranges turned out perfect in our dehydrator air fryer. If you don't have one, um, put, do slices of oranges, and then put them in... Um, your oven at 150 and this was four hours in our air fryer um, dehydrator um, they turned out beautiful though I just love them because you can see the lights in behind them and 
um, yeah, so I hope this is the start so you can see what my plan is for this. Because when we're watching movies or when we're cooking or when you walk in the door for yourself or your family, what is it that you want to see? So when we walk in now, this is our first scene that we get to see. And yes, I dress them up um, with the Santa hats because of the fur and I wanted something more fun, something more us. And um, I surprised Jeff with this. And what do you think, Jeffrey? It is so Christmassy. It gives you the Christmas spirit. You know me. I'm yeah. all about the Santa and the yeah. tradition. And this is kind of like our tradition from, oh my God, from when we first got married. And right, because... Lived in our old little house. Right, and yeah. um, it's just kind of that lodgy, woodsy, which our home is, but it's a little bit more modern now, a little bit more character with that. Um and adding the greenery in once again, because as you know from the other vlogs, that's what we're about, is getting that greenery in. That's my fabulous, that's our theme this year. Um, so there is a few more little touch-ups I have to do because I ran out of time and had to go to work because of the tree, which I will say a Griswold moment almost happened because it was such a disaster in here with everything. I'm like, that's it, tree, you and me, outside, it's on. It almost was, so it was just laughing at me as we're trying to slop up everything and get the dogs out. And then for some reason there were coyotes howling and we're like, you're doing a day. Anyways, it doesn't matter. We couldn't let them outside to get them out. It was a crazy day on Sesame Street here, but that's okay because I'm enjoying a little sippy now. So I'm ju just, as I talk here, I'm gonna get Jeff just a slightly turn to the mirror um, up there just to show um, as you know on the other vlogs, I'm about putting, you have your big focal points, but then you are taking that theme and adding it throughout your house. So when you see it, it's just a continuous theme. And all I did was add some greenery from um, our cedar tree and just a little bit of mini light and then some beautiful ribbon and some silver beads. And that is the whole house, all the colors, and it just, continues the theme with our greenery and I just love it okay I hope that's all inspired you for the fourth day of the 10 days of Christmas tomorrow we're doing um, shrimp cocktail but it's a little bit different stay tuned to the five inspiration day five day 10 days of inspiration of Christmas see you next time thanks for subscribing everyone love ya take care everyone and I'm gonna take that sip